All right, good day folks, Neil here from Southwest Adventure. Today we're gonna to make a kite, and we are gonna use bamboo. Why? Because it is strong, it is flexible, and it is lightweight, all right? So we are gonna shoot the bamboo first. Look at the length. All right, so now that we have stripped our bamboo and kind of shave off the ends, because bamboo is very sharp, eh? If you look carefully, you might see I've got, I got a, little, a little cut here with it, but that's okay. It's all part of it. So I'm going to use two equal lengths, like this. I'm going to put a cross piece like this. All right? So this is what it's going to look like. Then we're going to use this thread here. Bound it together. I'm gonna lash it together. Like I'm doing now. I'm gonna make sure you lash it properly from all directions. Right. So. So we're going to put this piece here now, flexible piece here, we're going to lash this piece up close here now. We're going to cut the, cut the string here from this. Hold this. Let's cut it. Cut. cut it right. This piece of course, you know. I'm gonna shoot this piece of course, you know. It has a flex. I think it has a flex on it. This piece now is going to come lush in the middle right here. I'm 
want to make sure that this is middle in, middle of the kite here this piece I'm gonna lash it like this We're looking at something now. Okay, so we're just going to cut off the excess piece at the front here. It's supposed to be in a gear. Post. So this is the finished product here. This is what it looks like. And we are going to use garbage, a garbage bag to paper this guy. Alright? So we're going to rest it on like this. Right, and we're going to use some um, crazy glue. Crazy glue.
You could pose it. Alright, so we put this up here. What we're going to do, we're going to take some, um, some clear plastic tape. And we're going to just put it on the bamboo here. In an effort to kind of reinforce. Wait, where do you see this one? We're going to want to reinforce the plastic out. Nothing has a little stuff. I will kind of keep it full against the arm. Leave You need to kind of spread the glue evenly. Let's right, so have the front here to move. Good pose.
keep along the top. You can let me have getting some memory, making some hair. We're wasting tears. Yeah. Are we making some hair? Yeah. Let's add it all the reinforcement to it now, so... Let's stop the pose. This is this is the zinger here yeah, we're gonna put on here. Okay, so you wanna cut this as thin as possible. I think the thinner you cut it is the more noise, the more zing you will get from the kite. So this is a, these, these are what we call the zingers. So what I did, I cut some clear tape and I cut it really thin. Maybe about quarter inch across. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the zing from... Yeah? Yeah. Alright. So what we're going to do now, we're going to, we're going to mount the compass. I, I'm, I'm considering putting a, maybe an eye, a mouth and a nose. What do you think of it? You can try it. Alright. Okay, good. Okay, so what we're gonna do now we're gonna tie the compass in the kite. Okay, so we're gonna put a flash in here. Okay, so what I did, I actually put two holes, like right here, put one hole here, one hole here, on either side of the bamboo. So this is what I look on the opposite side. So it's actually passed around this part here. Alright, and now I'm going to make it fast onto this part here. I've got nothing in the end of this string here, so I've got to it as. tight as possible right and then just put it like a lasso make sure it's properly secure so that doesn't come broken mm -hmm. now traditionally you, we, will, we will tie our compass like this 
right? They come up to the center here. But if you want to tie a pull and compass, you just have to shorten this part of the compass. Right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shorten it so that the compass is a pull, what we call a pull in the compass. So here I go. So I'm going to probably make it about half the length. Like this. Right? So I'm going to go all the way around. Come back to the middle here. Wanna make sure that it's in the middle of me now. See? Actually, I'm gonna make sure that it's in the middle of the center here. Look. Mm -hmm. so that's what we're gonna do. That's what we call a full compound. Alright? Center here and then up here. That's it. That's it, compass here. And then we're going to add a piece for the tail now. A simple piece here, I'm just going to just attach the tail. This is for the uh, tail. We're going to use a piece of um, gill net for the tail. Okay. All right, so we have made the kite and we're going to send it up this morning, right? I have about uh, approximately 300 yards of um, string here. The compass is all set. We have um, a tail made from um, we're using some gill net, right? Some discarded gill net we're using for some tail here. All right. So it's a nice windy day. Look at, look at the coconut trees. Nice windy morning. I was thinking about going in the savannah and fly this kite in there, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna go up on the roof. Because it's quite windy today. <laughs> 